Hey guys, Dallas from Private Press back again doing some more painting, hanging out in the Beast of War studio and I'm going back to my butcher card off that I fixed earlier and I'm adding, going, I want to add him, add some stuff to him. I want to kick him up a notch. I want to, I want to give him a little more presence on the battlefield. And to me, one of the best ways to do that is to add a little bit of that magical effect to him, right? That little bit of glow or that, uh, that, that arcane twist. So for this guy, I'm just going to make a um, a quick ice glow effect along the blade of the axe here. Um, kind of here and coming down the blade. Um, it'll make it more dramatic and give it that give it that arcane pop and just another color contrast too. Like he's very dark and he's very red and black. So a little bit of blue there will add a much or add a lot of uh, contrast to it and making pop on the battlefield. So with that being said, let's get cracking. So to start out, we're going to take some Minoth White Highlight. And I want to put a base layer of this on the model. Um, this gives me a uh, this gives me a color to work off of, a very light color to work off of and build off of. Um, instead of trying to paint over the darkness of my true metallic metal. So don't need a lot. Keep it kind of sticky, just thinning it down just enough to loosen the paint, not, not make it super thin. And for this, I am going to blend a little bit. I'm just going to use a second brush just to soften the edges and get that uh, transparent, translucent uh, um, uh, coverage to the blade. So let's start like this on the X. I don't mind touching my models. Right along the blade, paint a little line and soften it. Paint a bit of a line. If you get too much, just, just pull it away. Not a big deal. And quickly soften it. And of course, don't forget the underside of the axe. That gives me a good start. Now, because I want to kind of make this look icy, like it's um, like 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 ice, like very frostbitten. Um, I'm going to take some Marl White and draw some little lines, kind of like a hatch mark. Much easier to work from. And just think about ice when you're painting this. I feel like you messed up. That's what our scrub brush is for. Just kind of clean that up. That gives it a little texture. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Meridius Blue and kind of glaze over it. And several drops of mixed medium. I'm going to make a pretty thin translucent paint. The mixing medium uh, kind of breaks apart how much paint particles are concentrated in the paint without necessarily thinning it. 
uh, the water is what actually thins the paint down. The mixed medium also keeps it kind of sticky. Here we go. We just want like a translucent blue. And Meridius is great for ice colors. And I just want to paint this over top. Maybe give it a little blend just to keep it from pulling or anything. Once again, the underside, not as concerned about. It's a gaming model. Now I want to take a little coal black. And go the opposite way. I'm going to start here at this plate and do a little bit down here in the shadow, giving it that uh, shadowed effect. This is just adding more contrast. I don't need much of this. Just a touch. Just put a little in the crevice. Give a little swipe with your blend brush. Just kind of deepens that edge. Of course, with this being the underside, you can let it get pretty dark if you want. Like so. And now I just need to highlight my eyes. Um, for this, I'm just going to take a little bit of Meridius Blue and Mara White, mix it together, and just edge it, maybe add a little bit of those crystalline lines. So I got some Meridius Blue here, and it's pretty wet. That's okay. I'm going to add some Mara White. More Mara White. Make a very light color. Detail brush works good, or a liner if you have a liner brush. First off, I'm just going to do the edge of the axe. Like so. Make sure it reads from both sides, top and bottom. Don't do it over top of the lines that you already established in our earlier step. You want these to be um, counter to those so you can see them both. You might want to do Two quick layers. And a couple on the underside.
All right. That looks pretty icy to me. So that was the ice effect on the blade. But in addition, we have these little vents here. We have these little vents. And I want to paint those glowy as well. Um, and now we have all of our paints out. Uh, it's a perfect time to do it. So this is a little bit different, but using the same colors, I'm going to paint these vents with our Minoth white highlight. And I'll just use my finger to clean that up. Any upper surfaces. Same way on the bottom of the ice axe. We got our little vents. I just want to Now we can take our wash of Meridius Blue. Just want to glaze it, so I'm pulling out any excess, blending it over the top, and onto our frostbite color. And reclaim the top of our metal. Don't want any glow up here. Kind of push that glow down in the recesses. It makes it read a little better. Kind of concentrates the glow. And now we've added an awesome icy glow to our Butcher of Cardoff. I'm Dallas from Privateer Press, and I hope you found this video informational. Uh, check out our links below for more information on Privateer Press, War Machine, and Hordes. And as usual, happy painting. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.